Hello everyone, my name is Tommy Sang and today on Teaching Center we will be talking about what a travesty of a transportation system the MTA subway has become. Whether it's delays, express trains skipping stops, technical issues, or any of the other excuses they come up with on a daily basis, it is no longer a reliable system of transportation. In 2012, there was an average of 28,000 delays per month. Fair enough, reasonable number. But in 2015, there was now an average of 70,000 delays every month. Ridiculous. Keep in mind, the MTA raised the base fare of a subway ride from 225 to 250 in 2013. Then, from 250 to 275 in 2015, that's a 50 cent increase in four years. All while the quality of our disgraceful New York City subway systems continues to worsen. I find it funny how the two people who could most impact change, Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio, could not care less about how bad the subway system has become unless it is convenient to them for a re-election campaign. Or talk, no action. For example, Kumo cannot even tell the New York Times the last time he took the subway because he simply cannot remember. It's been that long. And de Blasio would rather drive 10 miles to Brooklyn than take the subway like everyday New Yorkers. I also find it funny how some people blame overcrowding for all the subway delays. Well, my response to this is if the MTA has such great business that it is always overcrowded, then why can't they spend that money on fixing the infrastructure and organization of the subways? Where is all the money going? One way or another, people need to be held accountable for, for the tragic downfall of the New York City MTA subway system. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching.